<laughs> Hello? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear you very well in the rain. How long did you say it would take? <laughs> I'm sorry, is that in hours? Isn't there a shop anywhere closer to where I... Yes. Yes, I understand. All right. I'll keep an eye on. Goodbye. Hello there, sir. Is there anything I can get you? Yeah, a tow truck that'll show up in less than three hours. Oh, sorry. I only make the drinks. And while our hazelnut mocha is divine, I can't work miracles. Uh, I'm more of a black coffee guy anyway. Can I get you one, then? Yeah, I guess you should. So I'm a paying customer and not just loitering in your cafe. I don't feel obligated, sir. We've been completely empty all day because of the storm. People hunker down in weather like this. I <sighs> wish I was too, but instead I'm forming a puddle at this table. Hang on a moment. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> How did I get here? Here, take this towel so you can dry off a bit. <sighs> Thanks so much, I appreciate it. It's coming down so heavily out there. Might as well have stepped into the shower fully clothed. Trouble with your car, huh? More like trouble with my life. Ran out of razors today, so I couldn't shave. That was right after my phone died, so my alarm didn't go off. Then my car got a flat on the way to work. Oh, man. I've been there. Last month, my car wouldn't start. And I had to call in late to work. Felt like the universe was conspiring against me. Exactly! My boss was not happy about me calling in, I can tell you that. Oh, that's rough. I take it you're not in line for employee of the month, huh? <laughs> Hardly. I can probably forget that bonus I had on the line. It's unbelievable. After the amount of time I've bent over backwards to kiss his... I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to go off like that. I don't even know you. Don't worry about it. And as for not knowing me... I'm Ted Dawson. Short for Theodore, but if you don't want to make me squirm with discomfort, please just call me Ted. But not Teddy. That's just for family. And people who want my fist in their face. <laughs> Ted. Hi. I'm Bryce Miller. Let me guess. Businessman? Or... something in investments? <laughs> we'll give it away. Let's see. Aside from the four-piece suit and million-dollar watch, you kind of had that uh, corporate zombie look when you first walked in. No offense. None taken. I guess I do give off the vibe sometimes. Especially on days like today. Hey, we've all been there. But seriously, the business name printed on your briefcase was a dead giveaway. Oh, thank God. I thought it was the circles under my eyes. I could use that black coffee if you don't mind. Are you sure I can't tempt you with a menu, since you're going to be waiting here for a while? Uh, why not? Martina's just been thrown off today. Might as well try something different. Here you are. Hmm. Wow. Um, I never thought I'd be intimidated by a drink menu. I've just made my own coffee for most of my life. Yeah, we're proud of our variety, for being such a small cafe. I'll say. I know this is an unusual morning for you, but if you end up liking us and want to come back, you can get a loyalty card. A loyalty card? For a coffee shop? It's not just any loyalty card. Earning points isn't even the best part. Then what is? The chance to submit an idea for what unique beverage we should craft every month. The winning idea will be a limited edition drink for that month only. Ah, that's actually pretty cool. So, like, like a customer-created menu item? Exactly. We bring some previous winners back every now and then, if they're particularly seasonal or popular. But it just keeps things fresh. That sounds nice. Wholesome, almost. It's a very wholesome place to work, even if customer service is a challenge. <laughs> I know what you mean. I was interested in the limited edition drink idea, but... Looks like it's a cold tea, and today I definitely want something to warm me up. If you're going to consider something besides black coffee, then tell me, 
What desserts do you like? Cookies? Caramel? Marshmallow? Honestly, I, I can't handle anything too sugary sweet. But whenever there's a holiday or, or it's my birthday, my mom buys these fancy dark chocolate and, and sea salt caramels. They're the only candy I really like. Just the right dash of sweetness and richness. But not too sickening. Oh, I love fine chocolates too. Uh, there's this amazing gourmet candy shop the next county over that's just too close to where I live to be legal. <laughs> You're in luck, though. We have assorted caramel coffee that comes hot or cold. I can even make it sugar-free to cut down the sweetness. You know what? Sounds really nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Okay. I'll get that right out for you. Hello? Yes. Yes, sir. I, I'll... I promise I'll handle it when I get into the office. The tow truck is delayed because he's picking someone else up and the storm is just making everything... Sir, with, with all due respect, I've had a perfect attendance record for five straight years. This has all been out of my control. I don't think it's asking too much for you to cut me some slack. <sighs> Sir, I'm hanging up now. I can't do anything until I get to the office, and I can't get to the office without my car. So we're both just going to have to wait. I'll see you when I get there. Goodbye. Shit. Emily takes all her sick days and go get her nails done and not a single word about it. But I have a legit excuse and he screams at me like, like I took a shit on his desk. But if I was a super stacked woman in her 20s, he'd be sweet and understanding. Fucking double standard piece of sh- Brought one for myself. If you wouldn't mind some company. <sighs> oh, uh, thank you. If you'd rather I be more professional and leave you to brood, that's fine too. <sighs> no, it's... it's fine. I don't know why my boss called me back, as if the power of his anger is going to somehow get me there faster. I could actually use some company. It'll help pass the time until they come and get my car. This is incredible. I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> wow, you weren't kidding. You really did need warming up. That drink is so hot. Uh, within the legal limit, I promise. But you sipped it like nothing. <laughs> Always had a tough mouth. For hot and spicy things, bring it on. You should come back during Cinco de Mayo. Now we make Mexican hot chocolate, spiced with cayenne pepper. Sounds like just your flavor. You're good at selling me on products. You'd be great with my firm if you can stand the boss. How long did it take you to learn how to, uh, barista? I've been working here almost a year. Crafting coffee and tea drinks is a lot of fun, somehow. Even under the time pressure. I like this job for now. For now? I never stay in the same job too long. I usually switch it up every year. Every year with a new job? Isn't that... unstable? To some people. I guess it looks that way. How do you explain that to future employers? I, I can't imagine they'd be too keen on hiring someone who's drifted around so much. Oh, don't even get me started on that. It's definitely a challenge. But I make it work. Wow. So, what's your secret? How do you manage to stay afloat with all the job changes? For starters, I'm debt-free and don't need anything expensive. I drive a pretty crappy car, but it gets me from here to there. And so long as I pay rent, I'm happy. That's everyone's goal, I guess. No matter what job you have. But still, switching jobs so often... Just thinking about that stresses me out. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone with a family to support, but I'm an unchained soul, so I can go wherever I please. There's a whole world out there. No reason to stay in one place unless you have to. I won't stick with a job unless it can keep me invested long term, but I haven't found the right fit yet. Well, jobs are about survival and provisions. Your personal interests rarely matters to employers. Now that sounds like someone beaten down by the corporate life. You could say that. I didn't 
really get a choice, you know? I excelled at math in school, so it made sense to use that skill in my career. I enjoy working with numbers, but the clients, the boss, and the consistency of it... Where is you down? Yes, but no. It's complicated. I enjoy the structure, but this morning just proves that one glitch in my routine and the whole thing falls apart. Sounds like it was multiple glitches. That would throw anyone off. I know, I know. It's, it's just... This pattern, this routine that I follow, it, it's been the only thing keeping me sane for the last few years since I began at this new company. My last one was about a third the size of this one, and... It wasn't as stressful. I see. Your routine is your coping mechanism. And it all broke down today. So now you're freaked out and feel listless? That sounds about right. What was so important about this routine of yours? Besides getting your ass to work on time? If I didn't structure my days efficiently, nothing would get done around my apartment. I clean different areas each day, do the dishes after every meal. Whoa, whoa, hold on. You clean every day? If I didn't, I know I never would. Then everything would pile up. It's also the only way I can get in just 30 minutes of exercise during the week. Then I have to meal prep on the weekend so I don't have to eat crap at work. That's a lot, man. I'm getting stressed out just listening to you. And you're just talking about your free time. I thought you meant you just had a morning pattern that you followed, but here you are talking about living your entire life by your own time slots. When do you find time to just relax? I can only relax when everything is done. Uh, just one problem with that, man. Stuff like that, it, it's never done. If you don't let things slide sometimes, it'll get control of you. Know what I mean? That's life, I guess. Doesn't have to be. Only you're in control of your time, man. You can still keep your apartment from turning into a trash heap, but also play video games or, or watch TV or something. I do play video games, but only on the weekends. And only after the meal prep. But I can't spend the rest of the day doing nothing. That's something, I guess. Lifts the weight from my heart a little. <laughs> hey, don't look at me like I'm some sort of head case. I like cooking and cleaning because I can listen to my music or audiobooks. So it's like combining fun and work together. Bryce, was it? Can I ask you if any of that makes you happy? Like, truly happy? <sighs> Even a stranger can tell that I hate my job at the moment. I enjoy any time I spend away from it, no matter what I'm doing. Having the structure of my routine, my lists and charts and everything, it, it helps lessen the stress. I know that I can control what I do with that time, unlike when I'm at work. To me... And you can kick me for being too forward, if you want. But, it sounds like your routine is actually controlling you, rather than the other way around. No, 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 it's, it's not like that. No, it's, it's, it's not. It's not. When was the last time you sat like this, and didn't have to do anything? I'm not sure. I've, I've been trying to work as hard as I can and save up for the future... So I can... Live? Yeah. As I was about to say, I realize it doesn't sound much like living. After all my hard work, all through school and my first job and this job with all the clients I've had to handle, it's... I think it's exhausted me to the point where I... I, I, I don't even know what I want anymore. I thought having a packed bank account, a successful career, and a tidy home was the most anyone could hope to achieve. But now, seeing how dependent I've been on this routine, it's just to live. I can't believe what a mess I am. Just because I'm going to be late for work one day out of the five years I've been working at this company, it's like I... I haven't really achieved anything worthwhile. 
I'd rephrase that and say that you're so focused on what you know that you're not seeing the benefits of all your hard work. It's like, to use a video game metaphor, you've been charging straight ahead on the main plotline without stopping to enjoy the fun of any side quests. But you know what happens if you finish the game too quickly? You want to go back and do it all over again? Right. To experience what you missed the first time. You can't do that in real life, my friend. When you put it like that, it's crystal clear, but this routine got such a grip on me that it's like I can't break out of it. I get that. It's tough to find that balance. At least you allow yourself gaming time. That's got to be fun. I'm curious, what kind of games do you play to unwind? I'm always looking for new recommendations. Oh, um, I'm really into RPGs, uh, strategy games, anything that lets me escape into another world for a bit. How about you? Any favorites? I'm more of a casual gamer, but I love a good puzzle game. Have you tried Unpacking? It's been my favorite brain-off game lately, after a shift. I have it, but I could check it out. Stardew Valley is always a classic. It's my go-to for, like, relaxation. Oh, I love that game. It's so easy to get lost in that world for hours. You know, there's going to be a gaming convention in town next month. Really? I haven't been to a convention in years. It's almost more fun with friends, but most of mine have moved away. As someone who's always on the move, it's tough when your friends live in different states. But that's why events like these are so great. They give you the chance to meet new people who share your interests. Make new friends. I guess I'm not great at putting myself out there. I'm more of an uh, introvert. Strike that. I am the definition of an introvert. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. But even introverts usually have a few close friends. Even if they're far away. Friends and loved ones. They keep us on track. Even if they irritate us sometimes, they are the best way to break out of our routines and try new things. With my job taking up so much of my time, it's been, it's been hard to maintain those friendships I, I do have, let alone make new ones. Last year I even missed my best friend's wedding because of a last-minute work emergency. I felt terrible about it. Oh, man. That's rough. I've definitely been there. Missing out on important moments because I travel so much. And then again, it's easier for me to just up and leave wherever I am to be there for others who are farther away. <sighs> that sounds freeing. You seem to have a pretty good handle on the whole work-life balance thing. It's not always easy, because life is more important to me than work, if that makes sense. As long as I have food to eat, and a roof over my head, no matter where I am, the rest is just experiences and good memories. It's an enriching way to live, if not for everyone. Supporting yourself is important, sure, but taking time to just realize Life is about more than that. That's where contentment begins. God, you're so right. I think... I need to start prioritizing my personal life more. Maybe even... Take a vacation one of these days. Try things the Ted way. Now you're talking. A little rest and relaxation can do wonders for the soul. And who knows? Maybe you'll meet some new friends along the way. Yeah, but you know... Introverts like me get anxious when talking to new people, so it's easier just to sit there in silence than talking to someone new. You don't seem to be anxious talking to me. Well, you know how to strike up a conversation, and I'm kind of just... I don't usually just complain and vent about my life, so I don't even know what came over me. Telling all this to a stranger, a barista I just met. It's so unlike me, it's crazy. Like... Everything else this morning. I can't believe you've put up with me for this long. 
But I guess I'm the only customer here, so you have only one option. Why else would you listen to me go on and on about my sob story? You're awfully cynical for such a young guy. You know that. Hey, I'm 26. <laughs> listen, I'm only 30, but I've seen him get cynical younger and younger in this world. But let me reassure you, I came over and sat with you because I could tell you needed a friend today. If I wasn't interested in your sob story, I'd have gone back behind the counter and let you mope all alone. I guess that's true. The intricacies of any person's life are fascinating. Especially the sob stories. But not just that. Hearing about a lifestyle so different from mine is part of why I talk to new people as much as I can. Honestly, I admire the structure you live by. Even if it's become too rigid for you at the moment. I love my life. Being free to drift around and live like I'm on vacation half the time. But I know it's not a permanent way to live. I'm just making the most of it while I can. And I love it. But that doesn't mean it's perfect either. I miss my family a lot. They don't really understand why I can't settle down. And that can hurt. Forget about any serious romantic relationships either. It's almost impossible. Being on the road as much as I am, I found that long distance rarely works out. I've never tried long distance. I haven't dated much since high school either. Not that I'm looking too hard, but when I have, I guess I'm not as easygoing as most people want their partners to be. Even you said it. Too uptight. Too structured. Even when I wasn't like this, I never needed a ton of socializing to feel happy. And that was something most people couldn't seem to understand. It's just hard to find someone who gets me, you know? Someone who I can love with everything I have, in spite of both of our flaws. Oh, that's the kind of love everyone wants. Someone who can just sit next to you in silence and be completely comfortable with you like that. Oh, that's the most amazing feeling. I'd choose it over any high, any day. I've never been in love myself, but... It sounds like you're a bit of a hopeless romantic. Guilty as charged. <laughs> I had a bad habit of being too clingy when I was younger, though. I was always one half of that couple, if you get me. The one in public that makes everyone else sick. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't think I could be comfortable enough doing more than holding hands in public. But if my partner wanted to, I, I guess... I really love them. I'd like to think I'd do anything to make them happy. Oh, a big old softie, huh? Who would have guessed, looking at you in this suit? Well, I'm currently soaked to the bone and looking about as pathetic as one can get. So, the suit isn't as impressive. Go ahead and laugh. I know you want to. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I'm not laughing at you. Well, uh, maybe a little. I think it's great that you think like that, Bryce. Don't let anyone make you feel like you have to change to make them happy. But knowing that you're willing to, the right person will love that about you. Thanks, Ted. I needed to hear that. It's been a struggle, you know, trying to find that person. That guy really sees me. Ah, uh, yeah, man. I'm by myself, so that can make things tricky. At least we have two options. I kind of only like guys. Hey, there's plenty of them out there. <laughs> yeah, out there. I have trouble going out there to find anyone. <sighs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to start talking about that. I know it's not easy, but don't give up hope. Keep being true to yourself. And I have a feeling that special someone will come along when you least expect it. So keep your head up. <sighs> yeah, I will. Thank you. Really, thanks. 
A lot of people have said something like that to me before, but... I don't know. I just feel like you actually mean it. Like you aren't just trying to make me feel better. But you really have. Thank you. Just the passing wisdom of a bohemian barista. <laughs> <laughs> You're something else, Ted. Has anyone ever told you that you're, like, a therapist disguised as a barista? You know, I've heard that before. I think it's all the caffeine. It makes people want to spill their guts to me. Or maybe it's just your charming personality. Careful, Bryce. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, uh, well, I'll... I'll keep that in mind. But uh, but seriously, thank you for listening. I, I didn't realize how much I needed to talk about all of this. Uh, okay, hold on. Hello? Oh, great. Awesome. I'll meet out there then. Thanks. Wow, I guess some things go right this morning. The towing company was able to send another truck out. It's only five minutes away. I... Better get back to my car. Uh, th thanks for keeping me company. I'm glad I could help. If you're ever in the neighborhood again, feel free to stop by. I'm always happy to lend an ear. Or chat about games. Definitely. I'll take you up on that. Oh, and thanks for the drink recommendation. I, I might just have to become a regular here. We'd love to have you. And hey, there's that gaming convention in town next month. If you're interested. Maybe we could check it out together. I've been meaning to go... But it's always more fun with company. I, uh... Wow. That actually sounds really fun. You know what? Count me in. I'll definitely let you know. Uh... Thanks again, Ted. Um, I guess I was wrong just now. Wrong? Yeah, the tow truck being on time. It's the second thing that's gone right today. Um, me meeting you was, was the first. Oh my. <laughs> Is the introvert flirting with me? You you said it yourself. I needed to try forming new relationships. I didn't mean it like that. I I, I just... I, friendships. And putting myself out there and... Calm down. You're too cute when you're nervous like that. I... I uh... Here. Give me your phone. And I'll put my number in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm in under Teddy Bear Barista. You're kidding me, right? I went this whole conversation wanting to ask if anyone's ever called you that and... <laughs> Figured I'd get ahead of that and just claim it as a fun nickname. I'll stick to calling you Ted. Feels more comfortable. Whatever you'd like, Bryce. I have to go now. I'll, um... I'll text you later. I look forward to it. Take care. Yeah. You too. <laughs>